Welcome to Wintrans Systems Limited. Wintrans Systems is all about transferring power within the wind turbine industry. The engine of your vehicle creates the power. This power then passes through the transmission of your vehicle to the rear wheels of your car. With a wind turbine, the propeller generates the power, transferring that power through a transmission to an electric generator. The mechanical transmission needs to be able to transfer power which is at least 100 times greater than the power of your car. The mechanical transmission used in these wind turbines are the size of a small bus and they will cost anywhere from $300,000 to $750,000 with a life expectancy of 5 years. This mechanical transmission is used in 85% of wind turbines today. The mechanical transmission is the most problematic part within the entire assembly of the wind turbine. Over the past 30 years, the wind turbine industry has been searching for alternatives to the mechanical transmission. In early 1990, both Denmark and Finland tried and tested hydraulic transmissions but failed. Their problem was that their hydraulic pump and motors needed to run at 200 rotations per minute in order to function. This made it very difficult since the ideal speed of a propeller on a wind turbine is only 14 rotations per minute. What is Wintrans system? First and foremost, it is a hydraulic transmission system that will be able to completely replace the mechanical transmission in today's wind turbines. The Wintrans hydraulic pump is 300% more efficient than any other pump on the market today. The Wintrans hydraulic transmission system will cost 35% less than the mechanical transmission and will have a life expectancy of 15 years. This is a dramatic 10 years longer than the mechanical transmission with substantially less moving parts, no gears, no bearings, no cooling system is required. This translates into simplicity and reliability. If you were to spot a wind turbine shut down with the propeller not turning, it means that the wind conditions are too strong or too slow to allow the wind turbine to operate. Ideally, the propeller needs to turn between 10 and 18 rotations per minute. Typical wind turbines have an efficiency rating of 20 to 25%, which means they are only able to operate 25% of the time. The Wintrans hydraulic transmission will operate efficiently at as little as one half rotation per minute, all the way up to the safe limits of the propeller itself. This being said, the Wintrans hydraulic transmission can reach an efficiency rate of up to 40 to 65 percent, translating into a wind turbine being able to generate 40 percent more electricity. Another problem is drastic weather and wind changes. The wind is never consistent. It is always surging in speed and intensity. The mechanical transmission overcomes these problems by using brakes, clutches, and electronic devices. The great beauty of this hydraulic drive is that the surging action is transferred through a fluid which is much easier to modulate and stabilize. Wintrans technology has evolved from the Canadian patent Crank Ease Pump. The Crank Ease Pump has been sold commercially for the past two years and has just recently gone into mass production. This evolutionary pump has only 10 parts and is capable of pumping 32 gallons at 70 rotations per minute by a single man using a hand operated crank. Crank Ease is able to pump any liquid from water to grease to natural gas all because of its patent rotary vane disc supported technology. A key factor to note is that Wintrans is not inventing a new technology. Wintrans is not starting from zero. Wintrans is taking the patent principles of a tried and tested Crankies pump and expanding its size and capabilities to create an evolutionary hydraulic transmission system. A good analogy to use would be a small jet engine 
that is being built and tested in use in the market, and Wintrans now is building a larger version. Wintrans' focus from inception is to use this technology first to replace the mechanical transmission located at the top of a 125 meter tower, but then secondly, by using this technology, it is possible to bring the generator down to ground level. The turbine tower can now be redesigned and made less expensive because 100 tons of load at the top of the tower is substantially reduced. Presently, service technicians need to climb a ladder or steps equivalent to a 35-story tower to service and maintain this equipment. The cost of service will run ninety to $200,000 per year per wind turbine. Implementing Wintrans systems will reduce this by at least 60%. Controversial noise and residual power issues are flashpoints with the public. Both are much easier to control and suppress once these generators are housed on the ground. Several places around the world are designing hybrid dual generation stations. One such place is in Nova Scotia. This is where the wind turbine is used normally to generate electricity during peak or high demand times. During off-peak times, the extra electricity generated by the wind turbines is used then to pump water up to a high reservoir. This water can then be released to the generation station to produce hydroelectricity when there is a greater need. This is ideal for wind trans since it's the first prototype transmission system that is capable of conservatively pumping 5,000 gallons per minute at 10 RPM. This is all about manufacturing and job creation. For 30 years, the Danish, Germans, and Spanish have been building wind turbines. Their patents and licenses on the mechanical transmission control, directly or indirectly, who builds wind turbines and generators. Simply put, no license, no turbine. The Windtrans hydraulic transmission system is completely different which creates a whole new manufacturing sector, which in turn translates into tremendous employment opportunities for North America. I'd like to provide you with some brief statistics. Canada intends to generate 20% of its power from wind energy by 2020. This represents 20,000 wind turbines on 450 sites, creating 52,000 jobs by 2020, there will be 2 million people employed internationally in the field of wind energy. Wind power is the fastest growing industry in the world. Wind power in the USA has reached an annual growth rate of 40%, which is projected to reach $60.9 billion annually by 2013. Thank you for the opportunity in speaking to you. Check out our sister companies, Sunnor Systems Limited and Environor Systems Limited. We've been around for 25 years, having received coverage from the National Geographics and the Discovery Channel.